Hey everyone, let's have a quick chat about not finishing books or DNFing as we call it, because I was once again reminded how bad I am at DNFing books. I finished Die Katzen von Jin Yugo this morning, and this is the German translation of an author that I read an English translation of another book before Sweet Bean Paste that I really, really enjoyed. But this I didn't. And I didn't from the beginning. I started reading and I thought, oh, I really don't like the writing. I can't get into it. And before you say it's a German translation or the translator is bad, it's a highly acclaimed Japanese German translator in Germany and she translates all the major works and gets awards. So it's not the translator, it's me. I really didn't enjoy the writing. And I can't say because that's what my brain does is wonder if I would have enjoyed an English translation better. Oh, and by the way, I cannot compare because there is no English translation yet. So going into the book, I already felt hmm about the book. I wasn't enjoying the reading. I wasn't really in love with the writing and I wasn't drawn into the story and the characters. And that's where it continued. The characters, the narrator, I really didn't care about him. He got so on my nerves. He was annoying and true. It was a character, it was supposed to be like that, this type of person, but I didn't care. I really, really didn't care. I was just like, ah, where's it going? And then the story picked up a little bit and it had some nice comments, it had some nice things. But overall, I was just like, ah, I really don't care. And then I crossed the halfway point. And that's basically a no return point for me. I usually finish books when I'm more than halfway through the book because it's, I think it's a sunk cost fallacy or what it's called, where you think you've invested so much time already that it would be a waste if I stopped now. And it probably wouldn't have been because I just finished to find out what happened. I wanted to know the ending. And the ending was just meh, like the whole story. It was okay, but it wasn't really enjoyable. So my whole reading experience, was not enjoyable. I didn't like the characters. I didn't like the writing. I really didn't care about anything. And still I did not DNF. Why? I don't know. So I usually have at least a minimum of 10% that I have to read in a book that I don't like. So if I at least try 10% of the writing and the characters and the story, then I can say to myself, I've given it due diligence or what you may call it. And I tried. I can put it aside. So if I really don't enjoy something, I can put it down after 10%. And I don't often do that, but it's a good rule to not think like maybe it would have gotten better because 10% is 10%, it's, it's okay. But at the same time, I don't DNF after I cross the 50% mark of a book. So between 10 and 40%, I'm good for DNFing. But often I miss that point because I think it's getting better. It can't be that bad. The author is good. People like the book. You know, these little things you tell yourself to keep reading and I'm very prone to listen to them. So I tend to DNF when I don't like a character, when I don't like a book, when something happens in a book where I'm like, no, I'm not having that. But at some point, I just want to know how things end and then I never DNF. And there's so much time wasted that I'm jealous of people who can actually put down books at any point in the reading process. And the bad thing about me not DNFing books is that I usually don't regret putting books aside when I do, because as soon as I decide I won't, don't want to read them anymore, I don't care. I am problematic in reading. Anyways, let me know in comments how you are dealing with DNFing. Do you have any rules for yourself? Do you have any triggers or warning signs or clear signs that this is not a book for you? And do you feel bad about DNFing? Do you feel like, oh, maybe this book would have gotten better? How do you deal with that? Let's talk DNFing in comments. Thank you all for watching.